and I serve you guys and tonight I'm bringing you a very cool conversation I found while playing Red Dead Redemption 1 where John Marston was talking about his uh, his daughter that uh, I never knew about and his early life let's see Mr. Marston I've been hearing about your plans have you Miss McFarland yes from Lee Johnson to settle here and build a life for yourself I'm afraid those aren't my plans see I already have a life well I had one, and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two, and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that, I wonder, as a substitute for having anything interesting to say? Probably, Miss McFarland. The fly. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. <sighs> call me Bonnie. Bonnie. Bonnie McFarland. Miss McFarland, I'm married. I have a son. That's I had a daughter. That's the truth that I never know about him. I never know about this daughter. That is so interesting. Let's continue. But she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. The sad truth. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, yeah. I do understand. I had no idea. You poor man. Even in this new country, memories don't really fade. My father was an illiterate Scot born on the boat into New York. He never saw his homeland, but to hear him talk about it, you'd imagine he only ever ate haggis and wore a kilt. And he hated the English for what they had done to his great-grandparents that he'd never met. People don't forget. Nothing gets forgiven. That's true. Some forget. Especially when it comes to money. And you know, even now, after all his labors, my father's debts are still terrible. I worry every day about us losing the ranch. It would kill him. My father died when I was eight years old. So tough. His eyes were, well, let's just say he was blinded in a bar fight south of Chicago. My mother died during childbirth. So sad. She was a prostitute and he was her, well, I, I don't know what he was. So I was sent off to an orphanage and ran away and fell in with a gang. This is how Marston joins the gang, by the way, and, and it's so tragic and sad. My word. What a difficult life you've lived. Uh, the difficult. leader of the gang taught me how to read. That's Dutch for sure. Taught me how to see all that was good in the world. He was a great man, in a way. But you killed people. Sure. And I've suffered for it. And that's the life I left. I tried to leave. Uh, said too much, Bonnie. I'm an uneducated killer, sent here to do all I can do well. Kill a man in cold blood so that another man may do his part to cut crime in an area, and a rich man can be elected governor on the back of these promises. Civilization is a truly beautiful thing, Mr. Marston. <laughs> Listen, can you help me? Well, I can try. What do you need, money? No, nothing so complicated. I need an extra hand to take out the herd to pasture. <laughs> sure. Point me in the right direction. That was it, guys. What do you think? I feel so sorry for John Marston for his life. His life is so tough. Uh, I can't imagine myself in his place. It would be so sad and so tough to handle. All right, let's head over to the cow pen. It's about uh, do you time recommend to doing more of this uh, in the future? And thanks so much for watching. Come on! Gee up! Thank you for telling me all that back there. It must have been hard for you. I hope you understand now why I've been playing my cards somewhat close to my chest. I didn't know you had a wife and child. Then again, I don't think I ever asked. They're, they're lucky to have a man like you. I ain't so sure about that, but thank you.